is considered one of the creators of rock and roll. Since he has been playing it for more than 30 years, he has conserved his old blues style purity in spite of being in the midst of the electronic generation.
Do blues men get along with the church? Well, I always did because I found no I found no separation in it. I can express myself in blues a little better than I can in spiritual song because I don't look forward to a supreme thing. I'm talking to an individual. Heaven is across the street for me. If it's a little better household, that's why I want to move. I'm never going to die to go to heaven to get milk and honey because I can go over there and get it right over there. And so I don't live like that. I have to die to wait to get something good. I want it now. Yeah, I've got a song that's called The Four Words, Five Letter Blues. <laughs> it's going to be an up-tempo. No, but I very seldom do it, so I'm going to do it for you. Okay. They say I take my time. Some call me M O N E Y. They say I'm M O N E Y. Some people call me money. Cause I've always got mine. They call me C R A Z Y. They call me C R A Z Y. Some people call me crazy. Just because I understand They say I'm the D-E-V-I-L They I'm the D-E-V-I-L Some people say I'm the devil Because the devil is a busy man Why, Brownie? But I'm a lover with some money I'm crazy as a devil Any place, anywhere, anytime I'm a lover with some money, I'm crazy as a devil, and women are not hard to find. I'll record that someday. What was your life? <coughs> I was a victim of polio at five. Six years old, my mother and father separated. I haven't seen her since. I was reared with the father under different women. And uh, I got a high school education, but I struggled hard to get it. I didn't have had financial difficulties. Being from a broken home, why that was, uh, you know, didn't seem to rub off on me. Did nothing happened in my life that made me look back. What made my mother and father separate never worried me. Must have been some problem. That, give, that was blue right there. Mother had him, my daddy had him one. So they both had him. My life, my, my father and mother, they stayed together to both, to both of them died and everything. And I wasn't quite that tough, but I had a pretty tough coming up in my days. I had a, when I was 11 years old, I had bad luck in one of my eyes. When I was 16, I had bad luck in the other. How did that happen? Huh? How did it happen? And when I was a, Sixteen, a little boy about five years old hit me and just playing with him, you know. So I can see a little out of my left eye. Lack of lights and everything, you know. In the street, I go all by myself. I... In every song that I sing, you'll find some protest in it. It's not full of protest, but one course in there will be the punchline. Why was I treated this way? Why did I have to undergo such hardships? when everybody else was living on any easy street. And uh, that's what the blues... Well, most of the blues, basically, you'll find whiskey women and money involved. But me, as an individual, I use those three cliches because they're the most... Um, the important things in life. Whiskey women and money. If you've never dealt with them, you've never lived. But I use them as crutches sometimes because it takes me on a lead of what I'm wanting to say. Everybody thinks I'm talking about a woman when I'm singing about a woman, but it's not a woman all the time. And when I'm talking about money, it's not money all the time. My baby, don't change. Don't change the lock on the door. My baby, don't change. Would she done chain the lock on the door? Well, she said that key you got planning. Woo! Won't fit this old lock no more. 
I went home last night. I buy half past ten. I tried to get the key in the locker, and I couldn't get it in 'cause the woman done changed. Well, she done changed the lock on the door. Well, she said the key you got, but it won't fit this no lock no more. Well, you know, I was all out there by myself and couldn't even get in my house, you know. I want to let y'all know I can see a little bit, but that night I couldn't see at all. It was so dark out there, you know. I had a friend living next door, so he heard me over there and he come over there, you know. And this is what he said. He said, hey, son, what you doing out here, man? I said, man, I can't get in my house. He said, what you mean you can't get in your own house? I said, my old lady changed the lock on the door, fool. He said, too bad for you, buddy. I said, man, go ahead and tell me something to make me feel good. He said, everything I tell you, man, you ain't gonna feel good on it. I said, go ahead and tell me one of them bad on them. I can't feel no bad in them feeling, man. And this is what the fool said. He said, go around, man, and peep in that one them and see who else she got in there. I went on around and I did that too. I walked around to my window to see what I could see. She hugged and kissed another man. And I knew it won't be cause she done changed. Well, she done changed that lock on the door. Well, she said that key you got tearing. Woo! Won't fit this on her no more. You've got me down now.